right, Chad, I have some exciting news for you all regarding City Skylines. The uh, game recently got some new DLCs, including the, uh, well, the Plazas and Promenades DLC came out just a little bit ago, but the two more recent ones before this, the Financial Districts update slash DLC, uh, well, there, there's a free update today, of course, for City Skylines, which is typical of every update, but uh, I have a bunch of keys to give away for plazas and promenades and financial districts and the sky, uh, the Skyscraper DLC that came out, as well as the Heart of Korea DLC. So recently there's been four big DLCs, which are the plazas and promenades, then the Heart of Korea and the uh, uh, sky, Skyscrapers DLC came out, and now the uh, financial districts DLC. So... I have a bunch of giveaways to all of you who have the base game. You, you do have to own the original City Skylines, which I'm sure <laughs> most people do, because it's been incredibly uh, amazing. So I'll have some Steam keys to give away pretty soon for all of you. So just uh, make sure you're on the Discord, and I'll drop some keys uh, soon, TM. I have keys for everything but the current uh, Financial Districts DLC to give away, so we'll get to that in just a moment. But My City Skylines is just updating for the new update that they dropped today in addition to the new Financial Districts. Which adds a lot of cool new stuff. They call it a mini update, so it's not as big as like the... Uh, or rather, it's a mini DLC, not as big as like the airports or like, for example, the um, Industries DLCs, but still cool. And I recently built a town that I'm pretty proud of, which we're going to take a look at here in just a moment. When everything's updated. But we played this like a week, two weeks ago. It was pretty cool. The content creator packs are awesome. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, there's some pretty good stuff in there for sure. But for those of you who might just have the base game, I'm going to I'm gonna do some giveaways. But typically the um, game is like free on like Game Pass or maybe it's given away on Epic. But always a good idea to have some DLCs too. Although the base vanilla game is pretty fun. But we need a new one. They keep dropping all these DLCs and packs and stuff, and it's like we're, we're getting Sims Syndrome. Sims 4, City Skylines, and GTA 4 or 5, I mean, all need to, like, die. And we need new games. I mean, you know, the old games are just fine, but I mean, it's about time. Time for GTA 6, which is coming. It's time they confirm City Skylines 2, which I hope they do next year. And uh, time for a new Sims, which I hope... EA doesn't botch and monetize, which I'm sure they will. Anyway, still waiting on the update to complete, so just stand by. Oh, it looks like it just went through. Excellent. And now we just need to finish our mini update. And that looks like it's... Or the, the D, oh, no, oh, the update's in, now the DLC is going in. Okay. That's weird. It had to update before it installed the new DLC. Strange. So yeah, anyway, just make sure by the end of the year, guys, you're on the Discord, because I'm going to start dropping some more keys, too. I think we just did a bunch of keys for Foundation and uh, some other life simulators about, like, buying and selling merchandise and stuff, which is pretty cool. What, what, what? Steam failed to install City Guidelines Financial, did Uh. My list of stuff, it says it's installed, though. Steam tells me it's not. Hold on. We're going to fire up City Skylines and see what happens. Could just be a false error from Steam. Let's see what happens. The newest DLC adds races? Why didn't they think of that before? Oh, the newest update. Wait, you mean like... Uh... Oh wait, color correction. Six new color correction options have been added to the graphic settings. Upgrade your city atmosphere with new color schemes. Oh, beautiful. Fantastic. Wait. 
Cats have arrived in City Skylines. There's now different cats and two new dogs your citizens can adopt. Stock exchange and investments now. Stock exchange is the financial hub of your city. It allows you to make investments and new buildings unlock as it gains level. Stock exchange and other new financial buildings can be found in the unique buildings menu. Does your city have what it takes to be the financial sector of the world, center of the world? Uh, buildings in the stock exchange accept, uh, gives access to new investments in the economy panel. Use some 13 different sectors of your city to invest money in. Be wary as problems in the city may affect about, oh, share value income. Used to upgrade the stock exchange, which unlocks new features. Okay, so it's a new upgradable building, like the schools or whatever. Decorate your city with new statues, plazas, and an international trade building. That's cool. I like that new plaza with the trees and stuff. That's cool. Take your city's finances to a whole new level with financial district specialization for office buildings. Okay. Gives new offices decrease happiness but pay higher taxes. They also receive an income bonus if located near a stock exchange or the international trade building. Nice. Banks and cash vans. Enhance your city with new city services. Banks come in three different sizes. Send out special cash fans to collect and transport money from commercial buildings. It lowers the crime rate. Oh, interesting. You can locate banks under the new re uh, renewed police department and banks menu. And a financial info view immediately highlights bank buildings and even shows their cash collecting coverage. All right, that's kind of cool. That acts like a um, kind of acts like the post office in a way. Or instead of delivering mail, it gets money and then brings it back to the main building. <clears throat> uh, new maps and chirper hats. Ooh, okay. Oh, the new maps look good. Oh, man. We, oh, man. I don't want to start a new city, but we might have to take a look at some of these. I, I, like, I like the look of these already. From lush lakeland to scorching desert, five new maps... Portray interesting natural features to build your dream city on. In addition, two new chirper hats are added to the chirper menu. Air and hat. Okay. And we'll be playing without mods just because there's been so many DLCs lately. It keeps breaking stuff. It's annoying, but I don't want to go through that every time updating mods. All right, well, we were making kind of like a Koreatown type thing. Is there a way we can uh, change that? Well, let's load it in. Let's load in our city. We'll play in our current city for a little bit, and then we'll go take a look at some of the new maps later on. I want to take a look at the, the new maps, but... Um, I don't know if I want to build in them just yet. Because seeing some of the DLC of having a bank will have to be a little later on. Gears loaded without having to disable mods this morning. Weird. Yeah, my mods probably work, but every time I've been trying to do it, it always... I don't know. Let's turn it off for now. Usually I play with mods like the day after a new DLC comes out, so that way everything's working. Or at least the more popular ones are, like, guaranteed to work. And that's why they're popular, is because people will update them the next day. Which is pretty cool. Yo, Jessica Crane, thanks for becoming a Raptor Egg again at the start of the stream there. Appreciate that. Let's take a look at these filters. How do we take a look at the filters? Color correction. Warm. Vibrant. Neutral. Faded. Cold. Oh, that's nice. Get the field amount. So here's the game with like no filters. Oh, 
the neutral looks nice. That's cool. All right, let's plop down a bank. Let's get a bank going in the city. That's under unique building. Investments and financial building. Stock exchange. Bronze cow. Bronze panda. Oh, that's a bear. Elevated plaza. Underground garden plaza. International trade building. Where are banks then? Banks are in monuments. Oh, they're under police. Police department and banks. Okay. That is very weird to put that there. Oh, there it is. Okay. Small bank. Have a stock exchange reach level 2. Large bank. Have a stock exchange reach level 3. Skyscraper bank. Have a exchange reach level 4. So. We would need a financial center then. And that would require a population of 6,000. Okay. So at 6,000, we can have our first blank. Uh, get working on a bank. to turn off this blue fog i know they did all this color correction but without mods is there just a setting to uh delete ugly The DLC, there's 140 assets, five new maps, and five unique buildings, including three banks. Wow. I, I like, I love when they add new maps. I'm always down with new maps because I find even with the mods, it's hard to find maps that you like. Graphic settings, blue fog, offish. Really? Graphics settings. Oh, JK? Oh, damn it. Check settings for fog? I don't know what the hell that is. I, I like the fog for taking pictures and stuff, but it's it's like always constantly. It's pollution? Well, I don't think so. It's just constantly across the map. Like, this is pollution. Anyway, all right, let's make uh, our city make 6,000. So we were working on this city the last time the Skyscraper DLC came out. We didn't get too many Skyscrapers, but we did build some cool stuff from the Korea... Part of Korea stuff, and of course we did take a look at it.
<laughs> it's the fog of war. Yeah. All right, well, they want more houses in the town, so let's build some more residential. Also, I think we're going to try to fit as much as... Because, because we're going to go with skyscrapers, we're going to try to fit as much in one square as we could. So rather than expanding out, we were going to expand up. Yeah, I agree. I think at this point we need a new game, and we need a new game with all this stuff in here already. Like, if they announced City Skylines 2, I'd have to expect International Airport. Lots of stuff. Zoos. All in the base game. Mandatory. Airport DLC sucked. You never used it. I thought it was cool. I'm, I'm glad they put it in. Especially if you're wanting more control over the airports. As in their design. Right, we're gonna put oh you know what I think we're gonna do buses in here too I forgot what we were up to last time I think we're about to put in bus depots I think we just unlocked them population is at oh no, we're not even at three uh, any idea to how to ramp up discord activity I got 80 members half the time it's dead um yeah, I mean, you know, things come in waves, typically, but, um, you know, they might be there to see you and chat with you. But our Discord, like, mostly I'm not there because I'm usually here in the stream, so you guys can chat with me here. Um, but, you know, like, we got giveaways and stuff going on in our Discord. So that's cool. That might work. forget to um yeah super chats and new memberships and stuff we're gonna start naming things after you guys i think last time we got most of the stuff named where we named uh oh yeah we named all of our schools and hospitals and streets after all the gift bombs super chats and memberships and stuff too so if that happens we'll city is for sale It's just good business. Nice little loop to walk around. That's cute. Well, we could actually build a decent park here.
how cute. Let's try to get bendy. Of course it's going to be mean to me. Put some trees there or something. Oh, that's a big old tree. buffer between that neighborhood there. Alright, cool. Um, yeah. Smiley. Raptor, if you promise to name a hotel after Doofenshmirtz Incorporated, I'll drop another five bomb. Uh, you can. I don't think we have any hotels yet, but um... oh god, oh, we have we have a building fire though. Oh boy. What do we have to do to unlock hotels? I think we got to get to we got to unlock leisure. We got a got a zone for leisure. hotels oh tourism all right we gotta get to 4,000 population <clears throat> the blessed canvas thanks for the five happy new years and holidays to you and also reach owl thanks for the five breath you're gonna have to remind me about that hotel when we reach that Okay, cool. That's a good start. All right, let's get that population up. We're at 2,700. Oh. Water problems. Near the highway. Oh, but it's got to be powered, doesn't it? It's from Phineas and Ferb. 
Oh, the hotel name? Okay. I see. That's a good spot for the water tower. Let's change that fence tower. chat that's gonna be nice oh we got a little reindeer let's change it to uh... chat's always commenting on the hair right get that good hair going there you go chat that good hair all right population's almost at 3,000 our goal will be to hit six and then try to build a bank Oh, it's raining again in the city. What else is new? We have these city streets with like uh, sidewalks and whatnot. I love that. I think that was a free update was uh, better roads. Well, more diverse roads that fit the what you're trying to build. Obviously a... Uh, oh boy. The DMCA has been angered. Hey, Rob, thanks for the 10. How many trees we need? About 350. Yeah, man. Welcome to the strings. Good to see you. Hope recovery is good on the hand surgery. That's a commercial there, so let's batten up that sidewalk a little bit. Man, those added sidewalks and stuff really make a difference. Just having a slightly larger sidewalk makes all the roads look completely different. Like, it's very noticeable. Let's reach out with the 550. Thanks, dude. Wow. Today is a good day to play City Skyline. I think we're going to save this for offices later. Same with that. I wonder if I could build... Let me finish off this park a little bit with one of these little... You know, Big old tree in the middle.
That seems like a nice little nature place to walk in. That's kind of nice. Doesn't have to be anything super crazy or special. Plus, it's a nice sound barrier from the highway. Alright, population now at 3,000. Halfway there. Hell yeah. Raptor's about to have a full bucket of snow. I think we should make his whole Christmas green. Let me let me check the weather. Hmm. So I have a hundred percent chance of rain from now until well, let's. About 6 p.m. my time, it's going to be rain from 6 to about 9. And then maybe snow. It looks like it's mostly going to be rain. It's a little too warm for snow. It's at 1 degree Celsius. So. Americans, that's 33-ish. In Freedom Unit. That's about 33 Freedoms. Look at this beautiful rock here. I don't want to mess with it. I think we'll build around it, but I don't want to destroy it. Oh, this is interesting. I think we want to incorporate these into the city. with those too much. There we go. Little bit of a mess, but that should be all right. We put a cemetery there. It'd be nice if we could have different story uh, style buildings for the cemetery. Obviously with mods, but I feel like at this point, the devs, for as much money as this game has made, the devs really should just start pumping out like bi-weekly updates uh, for free, like free mods, basically. Like, let the com modding community do stuff and then release your own stuff for free, too. Be like, hey, the modding community came up with a really cool thing and we want to make one, too. Makes them feel more like they're part of the community as well. Alright. And we're trying to use minimal, uh, excavation and stuff too. Oh yeah, we built a school here. We got a little uh, lovely little area for recess. The free range children. rock formation there.
Last time you played a city builder was SimCity 2000. This looks amazing. Oh, yeah. City Skylines is really amazing. Even just the base game is crazy. And we're playing with a lot of DLCs on, but... Uh, the game was just like the vanilla is crazy cool. Hey, what's up, Matthew? Thanks for the two. Build a little walkway here. That should be fine. That'll be good. Alright. Population's at 3,200. another main street through the city but I think we can keep these roads small we eventually build a bus depot which was the purpose of building this little area here Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, let's put in some trees. Member bus. Awesome. So now we got our bus depot. Now we got to start making some bus lines. Color model. That's what we could name the line. We make a line. for now uh, let's see I feel like the city's small enough to where we can almost just do one line we'll go uh, clockwise
try to do kind of a perimeter line, although live here that kind of sucks, but hopefully the thought will be that with all the sidewalks it's easy to get to these bus stops. Especially since we put a little bit more focus on bus stops. Uh, I mean, uh, sidewalks. And put routes to connect between buildings so people don't have to walk directly. Basketball. Articulated bus. Bendy, double back. Oh, we got the mini buses, the super bendies. I think we should just do the, the 30. There's our outer line. That's going to be on the outside of the city. Now we have to think of an inner line. Hell yeah, brother.
reassess that when we get some more high rises and such, I think. More population means we'll have to have more bus stops to accommodate more people. Cool. Hey, what's up, Doggy? How you doing? Doggy's in the chat. What's up, Doggy? Doggy, Doggy. Games like The Sims, DLCs to death. Yeah, at this point, I agree. Honestly, I thought the last DLC that we would ever see for this game was called uh, Sunset Harbor. And I was like, okay, Sunset Harbor's got to be the last one. And nope. I'm going to name that line. Busy there for a while. Well, hopefully that solves any of the traffic problems we might have. Okay. I'm sure we got some, for sure. Oh yeah, especially where the buses are coming out. But also the entrance to the city and exit as well. But that's to be expected without a uh, roundabout. I did a run of Ixion on Twitch and ran out of supplies because I didn't see the iron depleted. Angry and rage quit for a while. Oh yeah, that game sucks you back in though. Wait, if we if we make a bus line for just school buses, does that is there any effect to that? Is it, it is is it a stylized thing or does actually creating like a bus route and naming it school and then like having it go in front of the school actually like gets kids to go to where they gotta go. Like does it only take the kids to school? No? Aw. That'd be really powerful if you could create like a bus line just for kids. Aw, it's just stylized me. It'd be cool like if you made a bunch of bus lanes or what well bike lanes bike routes and a school bus route if it helped to like get more kids to school or something like it would increase the effectiveness or range of the school It'd be really neat all right i think we we're going to build some other services over here including like a recycling center maybe that'd be kind of nice Money's good. Population's good. And desirability's good as well. To get offices, we need 6,000 as well. A lot of our plans are going to unlock at 6,000. I guess we'll build more of a neighborhood down here. This seems to actually fill up when it rains, which is kind of cool. Would be neat to put some sort of a pedestrian path down there.
Eh, I'm not happy with that, but it's fine. Ba -da -ba. Ba -da. Am I going to post a video on how to make the stew I had Remember, a few days ago? Welcome. Oh, that's a pretty easy recipe. Potato chip. Thanks for the 29 months as a raptor hatchling. Thank you very much. Yeah, the stew recipe is essentially just, um, you know, I took like a big O chuck roast. And, uh, you know, you sear all the sides of that for a couple of minutes on a pan. Throw that into the crock pot. Then you add... Um, well, then, you know, you, you cut up uh, potatoes of your choice. I used red potatoes this time, but Yukon Golds are usually what I would get. But the red potatoes actually fit in there quite nicely, so I'll probably go with those again in the future. Then just carrot, celery, onion, uh, beef broth, or stock or whatever you, whatever you got. And magically, somehow I filled it all the way up to the brim. You let that sit somewhere between six to eight hours depending on however big the, the uh, roast is usually you go for seven plus and then uh, now before you serve you reach in there with a couple of forks and rip that roast beef apart at the very bottom mix it all up and it's uh, beautiful add some chives some uh, parsley whatever else to your serving bowl and you got about six to eight bowls of soup right there stew it actually was kind of like an accidental recipe where I was going to make uh, roast beef one day and kind of didn't really want to make the whole... I don't know, I wanted to be a slow cooker recipe rather than roast beef, so I was like, oh, I wonder if I can make a stew out of this. There you go. Magic happened. And no, Gordon Ramsay, you can't have my... Okay, let's see. Let's do a little neighborhood down there. Do we have water? And power for that side of town. Good. Hmm. Glad we got all that space there for a noise buffer. Can't wait to look at some of the uh, new maps. A courthouse. That's a little too big o. <laughs> Was that beef broth or bear broth? I mean, I suppose you could easily re uh, replace the uh, beef with bear. Both broth and. Uh, I suppose. This city is a uh, boring town. We gotta add some cool stuff. neighborhood needs something though. Should make something down here by the, the lake. River. Are citizens required to make YouTube Shorts? Well, YouTube Shorts guarantee citizenship.
By the way, one thing that Lumberjack Samurai said that he was doing on his channel, which sounded like a great idea, was to release YouTube Shorts while he was live, and then that way people would, uh... He's using, like, YouTube Shorts as a notification that he's live. Which is great for current subscribers and for people who may not have subscribed to his channel yet, so... We're gonna need some volunteers. It is smart. Unfortunately. We're gonna need some editors. It'd be cool if we could put something on this rock, like a, a beautiful little pagoda or something up there, and carve it into the ground. Kind of cool. Glad we integrated that into the city rather than demoing it to hell. At 200 likes, you'll drop a gift bomb skull? No way. Chat would never reach that goal anyway. Too lofty. No way. Can I build this above? Ah, uh, you can't. Well, I don't want to lose those rocks. Oh, actually, I can rebuild. I think I can put those in decoration. Population's almost to 4,000. Doesn't look bike laney enough.
Well, that's going to be a fun bike lane. Okay. Yeah, adding farms makes it a lot more like transport fever. I think that'll be a temporary placeholder for something else I want to build. I haven't really thought that out yet, but there's something there. There's some potential. We could always lower the land here and make it a beautiful little something or other. Open it up as a little... Something. Something. Potential. Yeah, apparently the next update, chat was telling me, uh, for Farthest Frontier, will focus on FPS and stuff. I mean, frames per second, because it's just... I haven't played... I mean, I tried to play it on Thanksgiving, and just, like, hey, there's been some updates, but it's still kind of, like, at a certain point, unplayable. Like, we joke about unplayable, but... And I guess it's playable, but it's not tolerable. Intolerable. That's a better word. Cool little road. Hey, we're a busy town now. 4,000. Population 4,000. Beautiful.
somehow, I don't know, a canyon? I, I don't know. People can walk through there. Pretty good coverage. Uh oh. Gonna need another incinerator soon. Let's go get some recycling done. Okay. Oh, we need more power in the city. Oh, power plant's not bussing enough. What's with the animated stickers now? Not sure, but if YouTube lets us have GIFs as emotes and stuff, that might be them forcing you to test it. Thank you. I, I don't think YouTube asks permission. It's theirs now.
All right, we're at 4201. Getting close. Could solve that's our problem then. Good. Earthhugger, thanks for the five bomb for chat. Thank you very much for the uh, support. Yeah, enjoy those uh, gifted memberships. the same city you did with the airport DLC when it came out oh no no we've we've started many a new city this one we uh, started about a week uh, a week and a half ago for the new skylines skyscrapers DLC and also the heart of Korea DLC and we'll be seeing some new financial stuff soon as the goal is to get to 6,000 and we'll build some banks and kind of take a look at how some of that works Although, as the financial DLC implies, you got to kind of have a little bit bigger of a city to fully take advantage of it, but we'll get there. Thirteen degrees C here. Kind of chilly. Man, umbrellas have got to be like a big boom in business in this town. I, I'm pretty sure this is all just the umbrella, big umbrella over here. The Umbrella Corporation. Let's just say.
Now well, let's go with more commercial. Replace it with office later. City, City Skyline streams are your favorite. They're the most chill and relaxing to watch. Yeah, it's pretty, especially when we're not like speeding through to see new stuff. Right now, it's kind of just like if we hit 6,000 and build a bank, yay. Because, I don't know, I feel like this game, oftentimes I rush too much. And I've made some really beautiful things in terms of airports or downtown districts. But I'd like to make a city once where I put equal focus in all areas, but that takes an incredible amount of time. But, that's what you want. You don't want a city builder to last like 20 minutes. Skull with the five bomb. Thank you very much for five new memberships for chat. Welcome aboard to all the new chat members who are now, well, members. Yeah, enjoy your new emotes, everybody. Thank you very much. Skull and Earth Hugger and Brotato Chip and Matthew and Screech. Anybody else dropping super chats, becoming members, and dropping gift bombs. Thank you guys, that's awesome. You love the game, my videos helped you when you play it. Oh, good. Yeah, I mean, every time it's a new experiment. I'm kind of going for more of a gridiron, coastal city type thing, whatever. Every time we play, it's something different. It's nice. Can you please show me how to do a nuclear power station? I always use wind farms. There's a few streams where we've done that before, building like a neat looking, uh, you know, power plant where it looks like it has reserve uh, water and stuff like that. I'll have to work up to that sometime. Uh, they want us to do more industrial. I guess we'll put in a little bit more. Getting close to 5,000. Sick living near the uh, recycling plant, maybe.
Yo, a skull with the 20. Thanks, bruh. Wow. Thank you very much for your support. Big Wendy's meal on me, chill stream. Thank you very much, dude. Now Wendy's again someday. I didn't want the recycling center to pollute so much. I thought it was less pollutive. But we'll put down a... Road maintenance depot. They travel around the city to boost roads allowing them to travel at tires. Alright, that's fine. We'll build that instead. There, the city roads department it is. Have I built any Wall Street buildings yet? Not yet. Uh, we need to get our population to 4,000 to unlock banks. And that's like a whole new system of almost like how the post offices work. Hey, there's sickness all over the city. Maybe it's not just the... Wait, it's got to be pollution. The water. Oh, maybe pollution for, for the water tower. Oh, that's why. That's alright, we'll fight it out in court tax dollars to then hire a legal team more powerful than the citizens to keep them in line, as any city would do. I mean, really, it's not about the money, it's about sending a message. Oh, community pool, that'd be nice. a weird street corner anyway. We'll put that building there.
All right, hopefully that'll get everybody happy again. That pollution's getting out of there. My bad. Alright, that's a temporary fix. That should give clean water. Yep, everybody's here now. Surprise, surprise. Will I stream workers and resources again? Hell yeah. I really want to go back to that game again. Pretty much at any time. Maybe in January we'll play that a little bit more and actually go through and build a much larger city. Uh, and building that from... I, I love the super realistic mode because you literally have to build infrastructure to build the roads. And so many games like City Skylines use click and roads built, and uh, that's okay. That's totally fine. But I really appreciate the tedious and, and time it takes to build a city and work or some resources. Like, you literally have to import gravel to then upgrade to gravel roads to then eventually upgrade to, like, asphalt over, over the years. Crazy. Super Q. You're very excited for Broken Arrow. Yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be putting a video up tomorrow. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a shame that their stream was so uh, low quality, but uh, I put that on the streaming services honestly because I don't think they would have streamed it in a low quality like that at all. But we'll take a HD look at that tomorrow. We'll uh, look at HD United States Marine Corps missions, which really reminds me of World of Conflict, which is awesome. I couldn't be more excited. I thought it'd be World in Conflict, and I kept thinking, oh, it's going to definitely be World in Conflict, and then here we are. What about bicycle lanes? Uh, I do have a bicycle bicycle paths here, but this is kind of placeholder for now. I want to do it soon. We got to leave that area alone, though. All right, population is getting up to 5,000. Good.
Yeah, we have some good bus services going already. Uh, I added two bus lines, but this is kind of a... It's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. 238 people are riding that per week. But I would also assume not many people are riding it because there's probably not a long distance they have to go to work for. Uh, we, we did a pretty good job of building the city where there's um, commercial pretty close by. Down here we certainly need to work. I guess that's what we'll do down here is make a little commercial square for everybody. Definitely should have some more shops there. Grocery stores, convenience stores. Blockbuster. Everything a growing town needs. Do we have Dino Nugget stores? Yeah, that's bulk storage. Well... That's good. Commercial, residential, all in good demand. Out of Wendy's? No, it's more of a DQ, but whatever. Well, this is good though, because then people will be able to bike from the residential district here. You can just hop on your bike and go to little little commercial district. Damn, your last high on life video was just taken down. Yeah, just try refreshing. Uh, I mean, on one hand, come on. On the other hand, oh, just stop fighting. The D. Uh, happy thoughts. Okay. On oh, the personal water line to this particular guy's house. Maybe it's because you were watching it live and then paused it and then came back and whatever. Ridiculous. I 
I think I'm just gonna have to do Roblox chat. I did. April 1, 2023. That's the debut. You know, on second thought, we might not want to put residents. That's almost too close, but it seems to be okay. Bring suspended for policy violation. I'll take a look at it first. Uh, it's all there for me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, at least YouTube's honest with their suppression now. Oh yeah, can you can you fast forward past that part manually? You might have to do it manually. I don't know. All right, so population is closed in on 5k. A lot of great room down here for us to, but also here. Oh, that did it? Okay. I know man is in you. Yeah, oh, that's great. That looks good. Industries of Titan has a steep learning curve. Oh, that game, yeah. I like that one. It's somewhere between Ixion and City Skylines, kind of. At least, how the industries and the buildings and stuff like that kind of remind me of that. the movie was in public domain now the public domain is uh is just a new another holding company public domain llc owned by nabisco owned by goodyear Ooh, this park is nice I think I tried to make a pathway here to connect it, and it would never let me do it. Maybe we can make a little path here. That's fine. I'm not that mad. This should be an avenue here.
Well, that looks nice. Yeah, I like that just being there. That's Ah, yeah, you're right. YouTube just sent me an email. Uh, let's see. As a result, video block can no longer be... Blah. Claimed by Greater Fool Media, yeah. Fool your ass by cutting that section out. Yeah, so I'll just... I'll go to the video and trim that section out. They can LMB. Amazing. Unlimited resources, unlimited funds to clapping people for BS DMCA violations, but community requests, deaf ears. The community, deaf ears. Just quiet, quiet down and start making content. Get those shorts out. Pipe down. Get back into the hole. Unlimited resources. All right, what do we got here? Industry Road. Oh, nice. That lane that also has a bite a bus lane on it or a bus stop. That's cool. Okay. Difference between these two. Four lane road. Oh, decorative trees and bicycle lane. Two minutes to edit out, okay. Thank you.
There we go. I don't like how it's trying to hug the ground there. Eh, better. But we'll rebuild it one more time. Have I had enough rest? There's no time for rest with algorithms to bypass. Populations finally. At five. All right, let's get some more happiness in this town. For entertainment again. Oh, power. All right, I forgot to. Win.
Uh, population's almost at 5k. Is that an unlock at 5k? That's we see milestones. What is this? American Eagle with the 15 months as a Raptor Ultimate member. Thank you very much for the big old crazy million dollar support. We need to build a Wendy's for people too. You know, I'm going to have to make it a requirement that we put a Wendy's in every town that we build. Even if it's just like, oh dude, Mar oh you're building a Mars colony? Wendy's. Oh, that's not realistic. That, that, that. Don't want to hear it. is getting a little thick. All right, let's put down a town somewhere. build uh we make this angle before? Actually, the angle might not matter as much because I want to follow them. Anyway. a nice shore line here. Residential.
This will allow us to build a footpath down here. Behind the businesses and the houses. Many Wendy's are within a 30 minute drive from me? Uh, 30 minute drive? I don't even know how many miles that would be. Yeah, not enough. Mm, I'd like to say at least like six, but probably more. Probably more than that around. I built this here. I think this is where we're going to do a future water treatment plant. I think right here is where we're going to put a uh, water pumping station. Oh, that's great. There's a path here. Then take the sidewalk to the path here. Very nice. Do commercial there. Have to figure out what to do down here. We're gonna have to leave all the big rocks. We're gonna leave those. How the hell those trees are growing up there? But those are some hardy trees. We also have these bridges, but uh, those are for pedestrians, no, no bikes on those. It would be perfect for that other area, but I guess we could always just say it's, it's for bikes too, but it might not show bikes there. Would be sad. to design these where they don't look so eh.
a lot of it has to do with flattening the ground, which I don't want to do, but in trying to make it look nice, we will. All right, but that's going to be a placeholder for now. Let's build a bank, damn it. Get a bank down. Population's getting close. Does the water still act like gloop? Think so? Do I plan on playing the new DLC for surviving the aftermath? Uh, what's the new one now? Is there another new one? something to do with the moon if I remember right oh videos are already on the channel uh, we played that one thought there was another new one What's up Jimmy Not liking the road with trees, we'll change that, but go with it for now. Maybe we'll do the lane road with me. Nah, why? Is there a two lane road with medium? It sucks. Wow, that's a hell of an intersection. It'll be the same no matter what I do, but It'll be for adjustment later. Put our maintenance thing over here. And
don't even think I like that. Damn, it's a shame you can't do like a decorated bike. What the hell is that? The off-road bike lane? Oh my god. Look at these guys. It's like the bike lane has some sort of an old tech where it won't flatten, but the new the new paths can actually intelligently level things out. But it's like the old the old stuff, it just can't figure it's way through. All right, we're almost to 6,000. Let's build that bank of dino. Doug Bank. The Dank Bank. I think it's a little on this road. This road's going to need some work. All right, so let's build some more. It's for BMXers, yeah. For crazy people. Delete the pretty rocks, they gotta stay.
All right, we're pretty close to 6,000. Less than 500 to go. That should be enough housing for more. Now, hospital coverage looks good. Pool coverage looks okay, but we'll have to build another one down here by the lake. How do we build? What is this? Institute for Creative Arts. Is that a high school? Must be. Public Library. see and we already put in post office stuff I'm pretty sure put in a post office there Elementary school, cool. All right, let's give that a little bit more space. For the school grounds. More rocks are needed for sure. nice very nice nice and then the last thing is we'll probably put down a uh, on the bank shortly
how we left all the, the rocks and stuff in town. Will it be the Gold Nugget Bank? Oh, damn. That's that's hard to compete with that name. I, I think that could be a winner. Until we unlock uh, better power, i.e., uh, waste to energy incineration. This area has to be separated, so. The buses will be maintained here, roadways, and then we'll put uh, water treatment there, and, like water pumps, and then yeah, we'll have to put some other stuff. 6,000 plus days of uh, streams and bids. Yeah, the channel's been around since 2005, so it's only been 6,000 days. I think I've actually, at this point, made more, a video for every day. Or a live stream, or both. I don't even think I can see how many videos I've made anymore. Anybody know? We have a pick of baby raptor? Yeah, when I was 23. Services block needs too much. But Seven thousand eight hundred videos. Okay. 
Well, I did take about 20 minutes off for Thanksgiving this year, so it's all the vacation I need for the next uh, decade. But the important question is, have you guys heard of YouTube Shorts? Yeah, it's easier than ever now to grow on YouTube. Well, yeah, everybody's gotten good at uh, incorporating things, you know. Like, for example, I still see uh, PewDiePie as a much smaller creator in terms of how he does things with maybe a very limited group. As where what Mr. Beast does, for example, is like a, takes a massive amount of editors, planners, organizers. For PewDiePie, it's just basically like, I'm going to play this game, record this video, and send it off to my editor, then bye. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. It's nice when like YouTube is find channels that are still like f maybe like two or three people doing something, or if they're a family of people doing something, like where it's like a uh, husband and wife or something with no kids. Just one makes videos, the other edits, and they just have fun doing it. But we got to get rid of that. That's gotta get that out of here. Got to be John LLC and Mary uh, S Corp with their newest video, Purchase and Consume. Did Susan send me a greeting card? Yeah, I just got an email about it. Dude, what, did I, what did I get from... Uh... Oh yeah, your video has been blocked. High on life. Uh, copyright owner has claimed material in your, vi in your video. 1987 reference file from Golden Frog, Greater Fool Media. Yeah. Season's greetings. Now the problem is, where do I go next? The Zuck on Facebook Gaming? Or the Bozo? Well, regardless, by the way, if you guys are looking to make channels on anywhere else but YouTube, I think it's still a requirement that you should make a YouTube channel. And the reason that is is because if you do Twitch, YouTube's, <clears throat> YouTube's a, a great place to watch videos after a, a stream is over. Like you watch that Twitch streamer on Twitch afterward. Yes, sir. That's going to be our city services department. That uh, the zone a little different now. Oh, too bad it doesn't lock to the fence. That'd be nice. Who would actually claim that film? Somebody who wanted to make a penny before I edited it out. But that's why, uh, you know, your your likes and subscriptions are super important. And memberships help on top of that, too. There we go. That's pretty close. Oh boy, I, this is it. We're about to see some banks. All right, we're at uh, 5,923. Man, the city is looking great.
very happy with this. Too bad we couldn't get like a... I wonder if any of the Japan content creator stuff has any sort of uh, Japanese castle to get pop in. That'd be cute. Good amount of uh, commercial buildings here. You've been making a new city with the last few nights with the skyscraper DLC. Yeah, me too. I mean, not necessarily this stream, but I do plan on building, like, this city with the next few DLCs that come out. So eventually the skyscraper stuff will come into play here. But, like, the Korea stuff's already been used a bit. The buildings of the Korea DLC, as well as some of our uh, fire departments and stuff. The Apollo Arc Safety Center here and the... Police thing there. Oh, well, pharmacy on that corner. I love how the the sidewalks cut into the bus stop there like that. That's nice. It's getting a lot of DLC too quickly though. I wonder if they're just trying to get the rest of their ideas out the door before they put their full support into like a new. Well, like their new their new game, like City Skylines 2. So we need to figure out a way to don't I just keep what the hell? I keep dezoning this and then it keeps replacing it. Yeah, there they go again. To make this road a tunnel. Um, I don't want to make too many significant tunnels. I'd say that one's pretty small there. Idea though. What is the color of the financial district? Um, oh, as if we can paint one. Let's see. Good question. I'm not sure if we can actually paint a financial district. Well, it looks like there could be something under office specialization. I, I think that specialization has to do with offices. To make it um, them pay a higher tax somehow. <laughs> there should be a Midgar mod with self-destructible supports for the plates. Uh, Final Fantasy. Love it.
rock needs to be like a a park of some Maybe we'll leave that alone. Leave a buffer zone around that or something. Very close to six thousand. Yeah, six thousand. Beautiful. Does it snow? Well, unfortunately, the game doesn't have a uh, seasonal cycle at the moment. I'm sure there's mods for that, but the vanilla we're playing doesn't have that. But there are mods with snow. Just permanent. That's why I usually never play them. I want a seasonal transition. Do you have this financial stuff yet? Uh, just in a minute. We just need to get to 6,000 population. We will have that in just a moment. Build a bank. Or build a Build-A-Bear workshop. Hog. Hey, there we go. One more person and we've got it. There we go. All right, residential wall-to-wall -wall buildings. Um, educational blimps, lol. I wonder if there's new policies with this one now. Office zone, grade school stuff, metro station. Here we are, stock exchange right there. Eco-friendly incinerator. Bad. Oh, sorting, yeah. Actually, I think uh, we could build a stock exchange first, but we have to build a bank later, which I think is kind of kind of silly. Now we have to build a, a bank. You'd think a bank would kind of be first. But okay, game. Alright, let's just build this temporarily. We won't have to worry about that. That's temporary, just to get the water thing done. Eco inland water treatment. Now well, let's upgrade to the eco poo pipe. We'll do those two for now.
Okay, and then I want to start with those incinerators that are eco. An eco-friendly incinerator plant. Now, you know, I wonder if we could put that in the... Um, let's go with that water tower there. Although I think I want to keep that just to kind of mark it like a... A city landmark when you come in. Although we could go with the bigger water tiles, but we got to unlock them. Alright, uh, so what do we got? Eco inland water treatment. No. I'll make a permanent ability for treating trash. It's got to make pollution. You know, we should probably put, it'd be neat to put a landfill, recycling plant, and a waste incinerator kind of all part of one facility. We'll take some time to redesign that later. For now, we'll just plop this down, but it would be cool to do all three. Where it looks like the incinerator and the recycling plant both pull from pre-existing landfills and sort all that stuff. Weirdly cool looking building. Alright. This can burn a ton of. Oh, yeah, and it also produces power, so that's good. Any stadiums in the work? Not at the moment. It would be kind of cool to put down an old stadium in the town, though. Like a central sports area where the local university, high school. Oh, you wait till 2000 to get that. Wait, you can open up a 2000? Two, 2, oh, 28,000. I misread that. Yeah, it's pretty cool, the, the stuff that you get. Regardless of the, the game somewhat being restrictive with having to have these magical... You know, you hit a certain population, then magically certain buildings unlock. It makes you a little more creative. But at least it helps, so that way somebody doesn't start by building, like, a nuclear power plant with zero population and then try to pay whatever the upkeep cost is on that one. What is that, like, 8000 a week for a nuclear power plant? We couldn't even afford that now. Alright, well, let's build a financial building, shall we? We can now afford it. Or unlock it. So here we have a stock exchange. 60,000. I think what we'll do is we'll put it down for now and then know we're going to move it at some point. I don't think this part of the city is going to be... There you go. But we'll just plop it down to see what it looks like. And this building has upgrades too. So 
but it gives a tax bonus of 2% on um, whatever is in there, I assume. Yeah, we need better waste treatment. What I want to do is just build a nice eco water treatment facility, but it ain't gonna let me. I wonder what other buildings unlock after the stock exchange. Well, we get banks with that, and then we get um, a few other decorative buildings that unlock too. Like uh, there's like some tiered parks that we can get. There's some buildings that are associated with it, but I don't think they're under the same tab. Oh yeah, there is. We get like elevated plazas. We get like some visual rewards that kind of go with the whole financial district. Oh, and here's some of the other uh, skyscraper. Yeah, actually, the now that we've got the uh, dock exchange down, <clears throat> it'd be a good time to put these buildings down with it. Some other large buildings around it would look really nice. Some of the other skyscrapers. Certainly would be a narrow uh, district, that's for sure. It certainly looks out of place for now, but it is nice that it unlocks early enough to where you can actually build the city around it. Helps out with planning. Now we should be able to get banks unlocked, right? So when the stock exchange reaches level two, we can have a small bank and that reduces crime apparently. Or robberies and things like that. And so what is this all about? The amount of money gained from investments is required to buy the upgrades to the next stock exchange. Oh, okay, so we can buy it. Oh, we can invest. I see. So we can invest the, the city's funds in that. Ah, so we can go all in on a stock if we want to. That's really cool. That lets that lets you uh, do something with all the money that you got sitting on, yeah. So the city could invest, like for example, if you have an oil town, you could invest that oil money back into oil, and then as it's about to crash, you can sell it off. Wow, our gain is now two thousand. That takes it into account monthly. That's pretty cool. And of course that'll go up and down, but if you got money coming in, that's pretty cool. What's nice is that you can also like use this kind of almost as a loan system. You put a little bit of money in there, and if you wait long enough, then you could have a ton of cash to then build a whole new section of your city without too much trouble. So 
the stock exchange is done. That, and we invested in it, of course, it'll go down. Very legit company. Crypto. I love how everything seems so shady. Healthcare service. Oh, there's crypto. Yep. Yeah. Death care. Herb air farming. That's cool. How you, it actually links with the uh, the industries DLC very nicely too, because then you can actually make money on that. Like even more money. I thought this was a good idea, covering the city in blue. Alright, Investment LLC. Investment Town. Cool. Well, that's just one of the buildings that they've got, but we, we built the financial center. We invested some money. Probably lose a little bit. It is investments after all. Ah, it seems to be going up and down. And now we got uh, we got banks coming. Uh, so it looks like it, you're gonna have to do a lot to unlock a lot of that other stuff. But once you've gotten your six thousand population, then you can work all your money into unlocking new money by investing it, or you can unlock some of those other cool parks and things. So that's cool. Very nice. Always happy to come back to some big O city skylines. All right, guys. I have keys for this, the financial district uh, DLC, and also the plazas and promenades and then also the skyscrapers that you saw a little bit ago too to give away we'll be doing that sometime further in the holidays as i've got a lot more streams coming and hopefully we'll do another stream of city skyline sometime soon all right thank you everybody for tuning in thank you very much for subscribing turning on the notification bell so you get those updates and whatnot thank you very much for smashing like i will hopefully see you all then tomorrow for some more big o crazy million dollar live streams Thanks again, everybody, for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Have a good one, everyone. I'll see you soon. Bye.